Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day. We're back on Ragnarok. Last we left off, Atreus uh, put Fen's soul into Garma, which was a big giant wolf. And now uh, he's our ally. He's going to help us out. Uh, hope, well, we'll see where he helps us out, but at least we have him um, Fen back. So let's see how we, uh, what happens next. I want to thank you all for watching. Please subscribe, follow, comment. Anything is appreciated. Till the next time. All right, we're back home. Let's see what everybody has to say now. We took care of business. Karma's handled. They're back. How did it go? The beast should trouble us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah, sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it. And only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to him, <coughs> I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. Father, I'm going to study my notes on the mast. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you could turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. <laughs> so, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sendry? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. Mm -hmm. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. <coughs> but I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well yeah. said, Tia. I believe you. I just hope so. Let me upgrade our axe for you. Our axe? Like 
Thank you. Okay. Keep her sharp and she'll keep you alive. Before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. You make up your mind. <laughs> Calm down. Runic ability. <clears throat> Equip, please. And the kid? You know what you want? I had something to do. There's something new of a uh, sliding up here. Weapons. I don't see where it is. Good here. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head begging for attention? <laughs> I was mauled by a bear. Nudged more like it. Okay. Hey, wait. We're with you. Let us go.
Where are we headed anyway? I forgot. Where's Vanaheim? There it is. Let's camp. Let's go. We travel to that island. Great. We gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Huh. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Camp then. Time to see how the Vanier have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking her on her. Her brother's though? forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Well, if I do that one too, I want to get it over here. <laughs> Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. Moosbaheim seed we found. We can take it to a mystic gateway. Maybe we'll find Sutter's combat trials. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother.
Kratos. Atreus. A welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man. Or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. <laughs> Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? <coughs> Hildas Vini. Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. Huh. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Oh, there's anything here for us, so let's go. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Big Beer. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy. Tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skull and Hati, He'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you had a way past me. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any more. <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? Oh, the usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Oh, <laughs> 
Come on. Anaheim looks and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, it's <coughs> fun, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Great. For humid. Egros. I like it. Where they went. Beaten by a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. <gasps> you know, Lan, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I am in no hurry to do so. Todisvini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Let's go. Ah! 
Oh my god. Oh, that shit for a chest. over here. So we got P up, we need to find C. Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold by prophecy. Which after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. <laughs> but Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah, or that I guess. Oh yeah, maximum rage increase. Need more of that shit. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. Excited to meet school and hearty, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. <laughs> oh. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Einar Yar played a part according to Skolanati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, 
That's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? A bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We'll try there first. But besides those and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Alka. Suck up, happy bitch. Come on. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the fucking man. Did you see that? I didn't know they could do that. A new enemy. Stay alert. Yeah? Correct. Hmm. Fitting. No one's here. They hide. Vanier aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Nowhere. 
Holy shit! More than some more or less. Shoot out of my trance. Just hoping that puts a dent in audience forces. For the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. I get down there. I'm confused though. Oh, I see it. I'm stupid. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. <clears throat> hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh... Come on! <clears throat> a double ambush? Okay. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> She's gone again. Hurry, we gotta get across. Exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Haunty Strong. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? 
Everything we're doing now happened in the Yotnar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Brother, we've taken a wrong turn. Our feet's gone skyward. Whoa. Hey! A Nasty beast! Careful, lads! Oh. Oh. Shit! Holy shit. That was sick. this it's from hell on timed almost to grab this while i freed garm uh, i was there but i i didn't know and now you fight to undo the damage your guilt is misplaced yeah no you, you're right we can return to the den through here they will pursue keep your guard up father how are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. straight into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. Alka! 
Not sure this is the right way back to the den, brother. Yeah, this is the other way. Does make some good points though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. There's nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Slot. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's what we're supposed to use it. <laughs> Perhaps Freya will know. So, in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Feeney and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Time, baby. Over here. Okay, over here. Never mind. We already did that. Yeah! <laughs> 
That wasn't the same one from earlier, was it? No. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anher Yar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. They come to war. We do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Guess they like the egros. We can get across from up here. As we can. So, we report back to Hildas Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not going to stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. Plants you want to kill us? No, no. We'll be the just ones.
Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossomed up. Hounds prized for her pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Vela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. The fuse is but 30 heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, you have to go. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. One with me! You still owe me the story of who made these things. Wait. Feels like there was something else. Oh, hi! Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding-dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. The wolves gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Njord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einherjar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. <laughs> <laughs> 